I want to share a story with you today about a procedure that involved a surgical count that could have been better and also maybe some of the guidelines and best practices for how we can best be performing our surgical counts. But one day I was in a procedure and I was there strictly to observe. And as I watched the procedure get set up, um, one of the surgical techs and the circulator counted. They counted instruments, they counted soft goods, everything was accounted for, everything was good to go. And the procedure began and there were two surgical techs who were doing the case and then also the circulator. And as I watched the case go on, as they began closing, they were closing a cavity. So I started looking around to see if they were going to start counting. I didn't see any inclination from the back table that they were going to start counting. And then I looked over at the circulator and I saw her counting on her own. She had her clipboard out and she was writing down instruments that she saw, everything that she could see, counting her soft goods, counting the sponges and needles and all of that stuff. But she was doing it on her own. No participation from the back table, from either one of the scrubs who was scrubbed in. And then as the case finished, when they did their closing again at skin, nothing was counted again, except for what the circulator observed and counted as well. And so I was looking at this and I've been thinking, you know, some might say, well, at least she counted, at least somebody accounted for the instruments and accounted for the soft goods. And yes, at least some effort was made to account for these items, but is that best practice? Is that really the best way to make sure that we are protecting our patients and preventing a retained surgical item? I would argue that it's not. If you look at the guidelines from AORN on retained surgical items, if you read section 2.6, it says that items being counted should be viewed concurrently by two individuals, one of whom should be the RN circulator, and they should be counted audibly. The idea really is that the person that is scrubbed in at the back table the surgical tech or the scrub nurse, and then the non-sterile person, your, your OR circulator, they should be counting these items as a team. Only the person who's scrubbed in can really see where everything is on the sterile field. The circulators aren't scrubbed in. We can't see everything. We can't visualize that, that operative site. We can't see everything that you've got going on on your Mayo or your back table. The circulator, on the other hand, can really see inside that kick bucket. They can see inside the bags. They can see everything in the surrounding area to make sure you know nothing was dropped or if anything is missing. But we need two sets of eyes. Why? Because we're human and we make, make mistakes from time to time. And if I'm counting out loud, then the person can correct me if I repeat a number or if, if I skip a number in my counting or if I'm getting lost in all of the numbers because maybe we're counting 475 suture needles, which has happened, it's helpful to have someone else involved, someone else engaged in listening and participating to make sure that our counts are correct. A lot of times, even with correct counts, we still end up with retained surgical items and we really thought everything was correct. Having that second set of eyes, having that second set of ears, that second person who is uh, working alongside with us to make sure that we don't miss anything, accounting for those instruments, accounting for those soft goods, it really helps us ensure that our patients are safe, that our patients are not leaving the OR with anything left inside them and that we have done our very best to prevent that from happening. So if you find yourself in this situation and it's time to count and if you're scrubbed in and the circulator is not ready to count, speak up, let them know that it's time to count. The cavity's being closed or we're on skin. Hey, it's time to count and work with them to count. If you're the circulator and the surgical tech is unable to count or is not willing to count, speak up. Say, hey, we need to count. Now it could be that they're in a very hectic section and they need to wait just a second so they can pass an instrument or do something before it's time to count, but still count. Let them know, hey, okay, I'm right here. As soon as you're ready, we can count because we need to count these before we get this cavity closed and before we move to the next layer. It is difficult sometimes to count and continue to pass instruments and do everything that needs to be done. But counting is a priority. Patient safety is a priority and making sure that we don't leave anything behind inside of our patients should be the goal for every one of us in the operating room. So speak up, do that count, make sure it's correct and work together as a team to make sure that you're keeping your patients safe.